All right, all right. So it has been a while since my last video. And uh, as you can see, I'm still wearing a, a back brace here. I'm in my third week of recovery after some uh, back surgery. And, uh, but it's going as planned, so I think I can start making some videos and get back into business. And before we get started, remember to check out our website. We have a growing number of products, services, and even some pretty cool t-shirts. So, well, let's get started. And today I'd like to, to talk about some issues, and they're not really problems, they're, they're nice fixes if, uh, if you'd like to look into it. But uh, there's a few issues that, uh, that are especially on the Bamboo Lab, uh, the P1 series, you know, the P1P and the P1S, and some on the X1s, but some of them, you know, but mainly on the P1 series. And I read a lot in some of the forums, uh, some guys that are, uh, they said an issue about the PTF tube uh, that runs through and while you're printing, it's rubbing up against the glass lid. And they're saying, yeah, it's rubbing, making all kinds of noise. And they showed pictures of where some of them had starting to wear through the PTFE tube. And you can see it plain as day. And for some reason, there's some guys out there, I don't know if it's, they're just in denial or something, or, uh, but they're saying, no, this, it's, it's impossible for the PTFE tube to wear down when it's rubbing against glass. It's not possible. It's like, well, yes, it is. <laughs> and uh, you can see where I've been trying to, yeah, see that? See where it's been rubbing over here? And this, I even tried to clean it already. I haven't, you know, uh, done a good job on cleaning it yet, but I was scraping off some of the white residue off that PTFE tube. But you can see where it rubs there. And, and that happens on all of them, the X1 and the P1 series. Uh, so there's one issue. Um, the other one, it's not really an issue, but uh, it seems like it's a, it's a very popular add-on or a mod um, especially on the P1 series, because the P1P and the P1S has a USB output uh, back behind your control panel there. And, and guys are, are plugging in LED strips to add extra light, which is fantastic. It makes a really big difference. It's just on the X1 series, you really can't do that. Um, you'd have to be diligent to turn it on and off uh, because it could get in the way of the LiDAR right and but the, with the p1 series no problem and also this is mainly on say the x1 and the p1s the the, the enclosed models um, when you're printing with pla it's better to have it vented right uh, you want it the the part to cool off as as it's printing out and if it's enclosed and it keeps the heat up they're getting better performance if you open the door or take the lid off with the P1P, it's not enclosed anyway, so it's not an issue. But so those are the three main issues that uh, that I was looking at, going, okay, uh, I'm going to design something to to address these problems. Now I've seen some other uh, designs out there. There are risers or uh, the uh, AMS stands or something like that, and it offsets uh, off the the top of the unit, and. And some of them, and you can find them on uh, Maker World and printables and stuff like that. And some of them look pretty cool. Um, but I decided to design my own and address these certain problems, right, specifically. All right, so in Fusion 360, you can see it's a fairly simple design. And the only thing I did different, you can see what I'm highlighting through here. There's the original piece. This piece, you can see how it's mirrored. Um, and that's about the only thing different I did with this. Because, uh, see, the, the four pieces are so similar. All I had to do was go through and mirror the basic geometry on it. Mirror the whole thing and create a new body, right? And that way, uh, it saved me a lot of time. Uh, I can just mirror everything over and then add what features differ from side to side, right? Uh, 
it's no problem. Uh, it just saved me a lot of time. I, I could have just created the, you know, each piece independently, but it just saved me a lot of time. And you can do it that way. And if they are exactly identical left and right, if they're symmetrical, you can actually just make like the left part uh, and and print off a mirror in in your slicer, right? And and do it that way. But with this there, it's just the main body of it was identical. So I just mirrored them over and then added the features that differed. So that's about the only thing I did different on this one. So this is a fairly simple design and it's more of an extension, not a riser. Um, I think, I mean, I'm just going to call it an extension and what it does, it lifts the lid up enough to keep the PTF tube from running, from you know, rubbing on the glass. Uh, easy fix, right? And this extension also has um, vents on the sides to let some of the heat out when you're printing with PLA. The fans are going to circulate inside, but these vents, you know, let the heat uh, escape out of the top. Um, and you can see the the slides here are color coded, and and that's so that at a just at a glance you can uh, you can tell and see if it's open or closed, right? Just by glancing at it. And and it also has some detents on on the both extreme ranges on it, so that it it slides easy back and forth. But then there at the at the very end points, you can you can feel the friction on it. Um, and it's like a detent so that it won't just rattle around and move around while you're printing. The inside can accommodate the LED strips, you know, all the way around. And in this case, I use the adhesive that's on the LED strips to, uh, to attach it. Um, now it also has some provisions along the bottom for using wire ties. And this is in case it if you want to use a different LED strip or an LED bar or if you're running any other cables through there, at least you have some provisions there for some wire ties. Uh, let's see, and you'll need some hardware for adjoining the tabs and the control switch. Now, I used uh, three millimeter cap screws on this. And the, the weather stripping tape, you can see this is, it's half an inch wide by 1 16th thick or uh, 0.06 thick and and I also used this when I converted this P1P over to P1S um, I put the weather stripping down and it quieted it down quite a bit and I'm going to do the same on this extension so keep in mind that this extension is designed um, to use the weather stripping on the lid so if you don't use the weather stripping you'll see the, the lid's going to sink down a little bit, probably about 60 thousandths down. So I'd, I'd recommend it. It's cheap stuff. You can get it on Amazon, and we lay that down, and it quiets it down quite a bit. This one, it's made specifically with an LED strip that, that I found on Amazon. And I'll include a, I'll, I'll include a link below, and it'll, and it'll also be listed. Uh, I'll include a bomb. Uh, along with the files and all that good stuff. Just make sure, and you can see where I trim this off, you gotta make sure whatever LED strip you use that it's not gonna be uh, too much power. Uh, the power rating on that USB, uh, the output, you know, back behind the control panel there, uh, it's rated at five volts and 1.5 amps, I believe. So just make sure you're not gonna go over that. And you can see I trimmed off quite a bit, and it's still enough to go around the whole thing. Um, and it depends on how many, you know, how many LEDs you have on it. And if you really need to cut it down, probably one strip across the front or the side and stuff like that would make a, still make a pretty big difference. So this solved three of those problems I was talking about. It, uh, it keeps the PTFE tube from rubbing raw. Um, it adds more light, which is a big help, and it has venting so that you don't have to, you know, leave the door open or, or crack the lid or anything like that. And, and I'd say that the added light's a huge help. I mean, 
it really makes a difference when you're printing something off and you can click that thing on and uh and no problem seeing the whole thing being printed you know it's it's pretty cool and with the vents i think uh i think it's enough to to let the heat escape it's only the the vents on the rear on each side it's not all the way around um but with the fans going on inside and you crack those things open and uh, i think it's plenty to let the heat escape uh and you can measure it you know you can I've been seeing about 40 degrees C, you know, with everything enclosed, um, and that should drop significantly uh, with those vents open. Now the color coding on the on the slides there, the color coding is you know red and green, and I put green that it's closed, red that it's open. Uh, so you can just go over here, glance at it, and you can you can see you know where it's at. Just uh, just look at the colors and also on the models you see that uh, that each of the piece it's made into four different spots you know four different uh, parts in the assembly and and they are embossed you know with identifying you know right rear uh, or say the the rear right rear left uh, front right and front left and you'll see that on the parts so you don't get them mixed up so I'll probably um, like I said, this is made specifically using this LED strip and, um, and with the vents. And I'll probably come out with another version, probably just blank. There's not going to be any, um, uh, any provision for the control. Uh, you can just plug in whatever LED strip you want, wrap it around. I'll probably make a version without the vents if you don't want that. Um, and I probably could, because there's, there's so many different LED strips out there with different controls. If you have uh, one that you specifically want, you can get the blank and cut your own in there. Um, or um, I can make the version that way, uh, specifically for whatever LED strip you have. But of course, that's, that's a lot more design time for me. And, uh, and I'll probably make all that available off the website so that when we take a look at it, and uh, if I custom make it for you, there will be a small charge for design work. Um, not much, but it, anything will help me keep this, this channel and the business alive, right? So I'll be posting this stuff on uh, Maker World and on printables probably, and, uh, but probably just this version of it. If you want anything customized, come over to the website and we can talk. Well, I guess that's it for this video. Uh, I'll put the links to everything, all the parts that I used, and everything will be listed on the bomb whenever you uh, download the, the files. And uh, it's a very simple design, but pretty effective. Uh, so I guess that is it. So as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and watch for my next video.